Hello there, I want to share with you my top five virtual instrument plugins I use in making Afrobeat melodies. These plugins, you may already be familiar with some, you may not be familiar with some, but it's what I've been using for the last couple of months to make bangers consistently, and I feel it's time I share it with you guys. I'm Sir Classy, this is Acid Suits, and if you're new, hit the subscribe button, and let's get started. So when I'm trying to get my chord sounding right, and I need brand new fresh ideas i usually come to arutri pigment or aturia pigments i'm always messing the pronunciation up aturia pigments for my chord progressions because they have really creative sounds that um if i just want something experimental something new something refreshing i just re literally run here first and and i listen for example look at these chords So whenever I'm trying to make pads, because you know pads is one of the easiest way, if not the easiest way, to fill up your beat without playing additional melodies in your beat, right? So when, when it comes to making pads or selecting pads, I usually run to Cog Triton Extreme, and I just come to the slow synth preset right here. You can already have a number of sounds um, I favorite already. These are just my faves. Let's say if I click this, for example, or I come here. Or this. I like right, recently my two favorite presets are a sign of the times and simple sign pad. These are my favorite presets right now from the um, plugin when I'm trying to make pads. And there are many other sounds you can get from here, but for now, whenever I need pads, I just run to this plugin to get my pad sounds out. So for melodies, I use mostly Purity and um, Analog Lab V, right? For Purity, especially when I need that classic Afrobeat Kalimba sound. So usually I just come straight to the bell and percuss um, percussive um, category and I just Either this kalimba sound right here, or this small let, or this guy right here. If not that guy, then it would be this guy, or uh, this guy right here, small let. Just depends on how I feel. But whenever I need that sound, no brainer. I come to purity for that. And purity is really, really lightweight. It doesn't affects your PC at all. You can use a very low powered PC and you're going to work with Purity. Even top producers use Purity to this day. It's an old plugin, but it's still very relevant to especially in Afro beats. And um, the second, or rather the third plugin I use, but for melodies, the second is the Analog Lab V. And this is a, this is a massive plugin, guys. It's, it contains like about five other or six other plugins within it, right? So, and you could even pick, but I usually go straight to keys, right? When I go straight to keys, then I could come here. When I click types, you could see some sub selection right here. And I just click, stick to just keys and I just browse the presets for now. Let me play the sound that I could make with um, Analog Lab V, right? Let me turn this off. Really nice sound. Let's try something. Let's see how this sounds. But I think I really like that Pro 25 or, or Pro 24 sound. Nah. I, I really like this sound. So it's a very it's a very large plugin. There are so many sounds. You can literally make a full beat with just this plugin. It has everything, guys, from bass to pads to leads, plucks. So many sound, but I will not have the time to go through all of it. But yeah, this is where I usually come to keys whenever I need some nice melodies for Afro beats. So if you've been struggling with getting pro mixes, making better beats, 
recording vocals. I do offer one-on-one -on -one training. Yes, one-on-one -on -one training. And all you have to do is click the link in the description below that says one-on-one -on -one training. You feel a very simple form so I can help understand you better and what you need and how I can help you get there. So when you fill this form, I'm going to get back to you as soon as possible and we can get started on your journey to making much better music in no time. Trust me, it doesn't have to be a house. So making music doesn't have to be a house. You don't have to spend many, many, many endless hours on YouTube looking for tutorials. With just a very short time, within about four to six weeks, roughly within that range, I can get you to your goals in no time. Yes, with money back guarantee. So don't forget to click the link in the description after you're done with this video to fill up a form and I'm going to get back to you pronto. All right, now let's get back to the tutorial. And when I'm trying to make my 808 sub bass, right? I use Hive um, warm 808 sub. I don't, I hardly use it at all. I don't use um, 808 um, um, sample packs. I use straight from this plugin. It's, it's heavy, it's choppy. You can manipulate it. You can make it sustain longer by tweaking a couple of things in here. You can do so much with it, but this is what I use most times. I even layer it with my log drum when I'm making my piano beats. And um, if I'm making just Afro beats, for example, like it just I just layer it there and it sounds really good. Let me play it for you, for example, my drums. This are my drums. You see how heavy it is and it cuts through. So it's a really great plugin, and all you have to do is you can just change the key like any other virtual instrument that has a bass in it and just work on it. So that's why I like using the Hive um, 808 um, warm sub. Almost all my beats since 2021 has had, wherever I played 808 was most likely this plugin, Hive 2 warm 808 sub presets. Now, while these are my go-to plugins for sounds, right, I could also use them interchangeably, right? So that's sometimes I may use, I may get my lead melody from Hive, right? or I may get my pad from Purity, or I may get my lead melody from Triton, right? I use them interchangeably, but when, if you look through my tutorials on YouTube right here, you can see about 90% of my beats tutorials have all these plugins in them. If not all, at least four out of five of them in there. So these are my go-to plugins I'll be using consistently, and I'm recommending them to you guys to give them a try if you can. They're really worth the while, and to surely help improve your sound and spark the next idea that you're going to create. All right then.